23. Hello, beautiful people my name is Alice Monroe and I want to say a special good morning to you all good morning yes it is Monday morning that's right the beginning of week number two of this new year 2023 so I have some good things in store for you today so just stay tuned to that but before we get into all our good stuff let's take a stop at the news desk for this morning's headlines thanks team and don't go too far because we will be right back <music> guys so recently there was an essay competition about one of our very own George Odlum so let's see what the organizer had to say about it of course we have gotten the essays from the schools um, the judges have um, scored the essays and we have short shortlisted the essays um, we have a shortlist of three finalists um, one from the Beanfield Secondary School, one from the Viewfort Comprehensive Secondary School, and one from the Bonte Preparatory um, School. So the short listed essays, we have published it on Jaco Productions website. Um, also, I'm hoping that the newspapers will also carry it. The, at, the, at the launch, um, we will announce the winner and award the prizes. Um, besides the three finalists, we have an additional four um, students who, who got honorary mention. So they too will be receiving um, prizes. Um, so we are hoping to launch the book in February, um, maybe second week in February. And, and at the launch, we are hoping the winner will read the essay. Um, so I think we are quite pleased, the judges and myself were quite pleased with the quality of the essays, the top final, the, the shortlisted essays. We were very pleased with the quality of it um, and people who have read it are quite impressed. So I think it was a very commendable effort on the part of the students and on the part of Jaco Productions and the Judge Odlum Foundation. Of course, Jaco Productions, we are doing this in conjunction with the George Odlum Foundation. And it is part of um, honoring George Odlum and by example, our other uh, national heroes, encouraging students to read more, encouraging a, a, a love of history, uh, and also to f help forge national identity and a, and a sense of nationhood. And it, it, is, um, it aligns with the Prime Minister's um, pledge to teach um, history throughout our school system. So um, I'm very excited about it all, especially it, the essay competition is being done in conjunction with the publication of They Call Him Brother George, Portrait of a Caribbean Politician. All schools were invited, I think about 25, 26 secondary schools, but we, we received 11 um, participants from five or six secondary schools. But there were two or three schools from the south, at least three, at least half of the participants were from the south. So there was good distribution between north and south. Um, but of, of course, we would have liked all 26 secondary schools to submit. In fact, each school could have submitted up to three essays. Some schools submitted two. Um, for example, Beanfield submitted two, two essays. And I think Bonte Preparatory School submitted um, three essays. And some schools presented even more than the three, where two additional ones um, that they were not part of the competition, but we'll be happy to give them uh, prizes like copies of the book as encouragement. Alright, 
so guys so part two we have some of the finalists so let's see what they had to say about their experience and that essay all right so my literature teacher showed me the essay and she told me um she thinks that'd be a good essay for me to write as a literature student and when i heard who it was on i was interested because i didn't know much about him and i wanted to learn more especially because i know he was a political figure and i love politics i love politics i always joke my classmates and say i'll be the first female prime minister so i was interested in knowing more about him i feel honored because i wrote the essay in, um not with the hope that it would make it but more with the idea that you know even if it doesn't at least i learned more so i feel honored and i was just proud to be part of a change which i hope will come that we will learn more about him and make an effort to understand his ideals i've always been an avid writer and reader so writing has always come easy to me and as my english teacher she knew she had she was very common with my writing style so she thought that this competition to set my style of writing and she thought it was a great opportunity for me to expand my horizons and to learn more about the history of Sanusha. Okay. I did not know of his name, I knew of the buildings that were in his namesake, but my information about George Odlum was surface level at most. I feel very grateful, I feel lucky, I feel all the feelings. I, I didn't expect to reach so far, just writing the essay was an honor for me as I got to acquire more knowledge that I didn't have. So whether it was a win or a loss, I was grateful for To be honest with you, I wasn't really interested in writing about him. I had little knowledge about George Odlum, but when my English A teacher brought him up saying that we had an essay to do, I didn't really have the enthusiasm to do it. But as I researched about it more, I got really interested. I heard that he like, was really into politics and he wanted the best for the country and he wanted to be prime minister. And I found that really interesting about him. I feel really happy about it. Like, I didn't know I was going to be a finalist with like the little knowledge I had about him, but I feel really happy. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this morning's Soka Size session. Leading the wine, we have Suzanne from Studio Fit and Healthy 911 and myself, Shani, from Soka Size St. Lucia. Let's get ready to flaunt with Soka Size. For this morning's workout, we will be doing a cardio Soka Jam routine to plaque by Umper and Serbans. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna dip in our laundry basket and hang out the clothes. Let's go down, up, down, up, down. Let's go. Four more, four, three, two. We're gonna lunge and squat. Let's go. Squat, squat, right. Yes. Keep going. Chest up. Right. Four, three. In our hands, we wash it. Let's go. Clean, you're bending, skills, giving, chill, 
Good. Watch okay. me fall. Step Make in. Sure you're good. When you bend down, or you Four. Down. Three. Washing the last row, last row. Make it black, 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 black. Position no black, 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 black. I'm going to no black. That was this morning's session. We hope you are feeling sexy, sultry, and strong. Do remember to flaunt today. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of today's show. I hope you enjoyed it because I know I did. I learned a lot, and those ladies spoke very, very well. So, guys, you see how easy it is to just get yourself involved. Sometimes you just have to take the chance. Now, I know I preached that for 2022, so, you know, we have to use what we learned in the past and bring it into what we are doing in the future. So guys, ensure you take those chances, try something out new, try something new out. Yes, you know, I have another tongue twister this today, but that's okay, that's perfectly fine. See, you know, embrace it, embrace it. So guys, go out and have an amazing day. It is Monday, start off your week right, and I'll see you Tuesday morning, bright and early. Bye.